Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Saris and welcome to Rustic Flow. Uh, as you may have noticed, I haven't done uh, any videos in the past two months. I've just had a very, very crazy schedule. So I never got the chance. And to be honest, I am still busy from half seven in the morning all the way to like half six in the evening, half seven in the evening. So it's roughly around 13, 14 hours a day I'm away. So I never get the chance to do anything. I'll try to get as much as possible and uh, as you may have noticed i've also got a brand new banner logo and watermark and i've done a new intro as well and i hope you enjoy it and meanwhile i've been saving up quite a lot of videos so today i'm going to be reacting to this guy i came across called awakening uh, with jp and it's a segment called the best swimmer in the world best female swimmer in the world so without any delays let's get to it here we go this is my proudest moment. I've been dreaming of becoming the top female swimmer for one year. <laughs> but getting here wasn't easy. One year. <laughs> I love this guy, man. I first learned how to swim when I was seven years old at Boy Scout camp. What might surprise you is, I was actually a really slow swimmer at first and stayed a really slow swimmer through the first couple years of my collegiate career. Then I turned 23 and all of a sudden, I'm the best swimmer in the women's division. And I can't <laughs> track exactly what changed. I guess I'm just a late bloomer. Because swimming's been such a big part of my life for so long, it's where my happiness comes from. You can't have happiness without penis. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I've never noticed that before. With being the best at something, you always get haters. Like, I don't understand what this controversy is all about. Of course you do. People just don't like it when they see a woman <laughs> succeeding. I compete in three different strokes. Freestyle, the butterfly, and the backstroke. You gotta be in the pool for hours each day. That's the only way to become the best. I guess I must have drank a lot of water on that lap. Yeah, it's not all easy. Some of the other ladies don't feel comfortable being in the same locker room as me. I'm appalled. I, I just don't understand why. Like, is this because I identify as black? <laughs> These racist women around here. Or maybe they're just intimidated by my sensual femininity. Oh, I love this. I mean, you know how girls can be. Jealous. <laughs> Swimming brings out the divine goddess in me. Hey, get out of the pool! That's for ladies only! Some of my competitors are <laughs> angry that I tested positive for having XY chromosomes, and I don't know how they got there. Might have had like a tainted supplement or something. But really, I think my competitors are just sore losers. Like, of hey ladies, I beat you by 11 minutes fair and square. <laughs> So get over it. To me, swimming is really an art form. Oh, I love this guy, man. An art it's form that requires brilliant. a lot of upper body strength. Like The more of it you have, the more of an advantage you have. Women can most certainly get other women pregnant. I've done it. What do you have to say about your teammates wanting you off the team? I've done it. Yeah, my sore loser teammates, maybe they should get in the pool and train more. The reason why I that win all the time mode. is because I'm more dedicated to my training. We talked to your coach and he said that your teammates spend the exact same amount of time training in the pool as you. Well, I work out with weights too. Maybe they should try it. It really helps. Your coach says they're on the exact same weightlifting routine as you, but he said you bench press four and a half times more weight than the second strongest athlete. Do you have <laughs> any idea why that is? Well, I just don't identify the weights as very heavy. It's pretty simple. <laughs> it feels so good to come away with a Still championship. And I want to congratulate second place for being within nine minutes of me. And I want to thank my sponsors for nine always minutes. having my back. Manscaping, Dollar Beard Club, and Alpha Jock Straps. Now that I'm the top <laughs> female swimmer, what's next for me? Well, I don't feel like I'm 22 anymore, so. I think children's sports is next. <laughs> Probably Pee Wee football. I'm actually 10 years old now. Even more than my swimming success, what I'm most proud of is what I'm doing for women's rights. It's kind of like if you've ever seen an injured deer on the side of the road that's just been hit by a car and your heart just wants to help this wounded animal, well, I'm the one that hit the deer. <laughs> What's up, my freedom-loving friend? I want to thank the sponsor of today's video. So, that was the best 
female swimmer in the world and obviously he is the best female swimmer in the world and uh, the whole underlying joke is like uh, all my what do you call it teammates are racist because I identify as black and that uh, the second place came uh, within 11 minutes of him like it's absolute brilliant I love that guy I've seen only a few segments because I really wanted to react to it because I thought it was absolute brilliant I love that guy and I am so much looking forward to doing more of his stuff and I hope you enjoyed it too and if you have any recommendation please do let me know and if you have any recommendation for my channel what I should react to next do let me know and I hope you enjoyed this if you did go ahead and hit that subscribe button leave a comment and I'll see you guys next time